channel thank you for clicking on today's video so i just got back home from work it's like four o'clock in the afternoon and i'm just now getting my day started in terms of the vlog so i have quite a few things to do actually still today i have to go grocery shopping at two different grocery stores because the grocery store on base the commissary is trash like it really just don't have that much and i also need to go to kroger which is our regular grocery store so before i head out to ups because the ups store closes at like five i think what time is it actually i might need to head out right now to catch the ups store because it's 4 20 right now i printed out the return label for my books for the ups store so i'm returning my rental books for the semester and i put them in a box like i'm just reusing this box and i already showed these books but just in case you guys didn't watch my other vlog so i just ordered these two books i am in my master's of social work program so i have to return these books i low-key forgot that i needed to return them and thank goodness check emailed me a reminder like hey you got two more days to return these sis you might want to get on it so i printed out what i needed to print out at work and i'm gonna just go ahead and package this up so before i head out to the ups store i actually want to check my grades for the semester because they dropped today and i didn't get a chance to check them so i'm about to just check them really quick on my phone um before i head out because i just want to know how i did this semester i didn't feel i didn't feel like i i don't feel like i didn't do well like i do feel like i did well this semester but at the same time i'm just like one of my classes he just was kind of like he didn't communicate well like he didn't send like updated grades like he wouldn't grade anything like you would have to reach out to him and like wait for several weeks to pass for him to respond it just kind of wasn't <clears throat> my ideal student professor professor relationship so i kind of feel uncomfortable or unsure about what he ended up giving me um especially on my final because again like if you guys watched my other videos you saw that it was one class that i had a final in or did i lose that clip or is that one of, one of the clips i lost but i do go to albany state university it's a small hbcu here in georgia in albany georgia and um i have no necessarily preference for the school itself it was more so of finding a good program that's why i decided to go here so i'm about to just go on the website or go through the website if it ever loads anyway how have you guys been since it's loading right now um how has your year been going like it's december the year is over it's crazy so um how have you guys been honestly for me this year has been a roller coaster like it just has had it's it's been crazy so um i'm clicking on student records i'm gonna click on my unofficial transcript and I'm going to click on submit and here we go. Just scroll. Stop trying to go. <laughs> Can y'all see that? I'm gonna show y'all. So this is, can y'all see that? I hope y'all can see that. This is the fall semester and these are my grades. So I got straight A's. I maintained my 4.0. I do have a 4.0 GPA. So um, you may be like, girl, if you have a 4.0, what would you worry about? But like, I want to maintain that because I want to get some cum laude. I think that's how you say it. And summa cum laude. I think that's how you say it. I don't know, but I'm really happy about it. I'm shocked he gave me an A because he was playing me. Like for the longest time in that class, I was I was getting a B, and I had a lot of stuff that didn't have grades because he wouldn't grade stuff. So yeah, I'm okay. You know what that means, right? That means. I get to go to Sephora. I I gotta call Leland and tell him that I get to go to Sephora. That I got straight A's. I got four point. Stop playing me, bro. Okay. Anyway, but yeah. So we have this package from Walmart. No idea. I have not placed an order on Walmart, so I don't know what this is. And I think I'm going to go ahead. I think I'm gonna go ahead and wait until Leland gets home and ask him if he maybe ordered something on Walmart. But it has my name on it, so that makes me. That leads me to believe that my mom probably order that for me and like put my name on it because that's what she's been doing put my name on the stuff um so yeah all right i'm about to head out to the ups store let's go let's go to the ups store let me sh shut up <laughs> this bitch gonna make me <laughs> Trying to play, but lately I just wanna keep it real. real. My 
Y'all, it is so cold out here. It's like, well, I say so cold, but it really is cold out here. And I kind of want some hot cocoa. So I don't know. Maybe I'll go and get some hot cocoa balls from the bakery down the street. Because it's literally right across the street from Kroger. Since I'm already going to Kroger. Or should I just go ahead and buy like the box hot cocoa? hot chocolate i don't know but i'm about to go across the street like directly across the street to the commissary really quick to pick up some groceries from there and a lot of the stuff hopefully i can get out of the commissary for our game night on saturday but probably not we'll see because commissary really be slipping Y'all, I'm back home. I can't believe I really locked my keys in the trunk. Like, Leland had to come and leave his training to come unlock my car because he has my second set of keys. I'm so annoyed by that. It was freezing outside, so that confirmed I'm definitely going to get some um, hot cocoa balls. I gotta see what time they close because right now it's 6 o'clock. So I just turned off the overhead lighting in the kitchen because it's such a harsh light that comes down on my head. So hopefully this isn't too dark. Hopefully you guys can see me. If you guys can, that's what I'm gonna start. this is what I'm going to start doing. But anyway, really quickly because I looked it up and the bakery closes at 7 right now. It is about to be 6 o'clock. So really quick, I'm going to show you guys what we picked up or what I picked up from the commissary grocery store. And then we're going to head over to the bakery and then we'll head to Kroger. So I picked up some chicken thighs these are just a pack of chicken thighs and then i also picked up a check a pack a check a pack of chicken wings also in this grocery trip to the commissary i picked up some things that we haven't had in a while so a lot of like sweet slow things that we haven't had um so i picked up a bag of chips this is leland's favorite chip the funyuns and then i also picked up this bag of animal crackers and the only reason i got this is for my pink and white security board so i picked that up that's the receipt and then I picked up some Jello. I picked up some toothpaste. I picked up these Biscoff cookies. They're so good. I also picked up a thing of chocolate from my charcuterie board. And then I picked up these strawberry wafers from my charcuterie board as well. So a lot of my sweet treats are for the charcuterie board. The grocery store. Also picked up a thing of tortillas because I've been craving some like homemade tortillas. And I have some chicken in there that I want to go ahead and make make some chicken tacos or whatever and then i also picked up leland's peanut butter crackers these are some things that he just likes to snack on and then i picked up some pineapple slices because you guys are going to see that I also picked up a ham because this is our christmas grocery shop because we usually do a mid-month grocery shop but this one is like for christmas so i picked up some you know some more special foods or whatever picked up a thing of cashews also picked up some fruit because y'all know so i picked up some bananas but yeah picked up some bananas i don't like bananas but lila eats bananas also picked up a thing of strawberries mainly for my charcuterie board but we both also like strawberries also picked up a bunch of apples i don't know if it's in that, this bag or not oh yeah i also picked up a pineapple Leland's not a big pineapple person but i am so sorry i'm trying to move kind of fast so i also picked up some oranges and apples i picked up red apples and green apples because leland likes green apples i like red apples so i got both <laughs> and five i got five of each i got five red apples five green apples and five oranges also picked up oh, some more oranges fell off the bed oh i also picked up two limes to be able to take like tequila shots or whatever also picked up some lupias um this was a treat because we really enjoy lumpa lupias but i got the chicken one for leland and i got the beef one for me I'm trying to move i'm trying to move quickly through this stuff also picked up a bag of crawfish this is just whole cooked crawfish apparently it's seasoned i don't know i've never had this type of crawfish but we'll see what happens more seafood i picked up a bag of shrimp never had this brand of shrimp but you know what so got some drinks 
I got some Minute Maid juices. I haven't had Minute Maid juices or we haven't purchased like juices like this in a while. We usually just get your standard fruit juice like pineapple juice, apple juice, and orange juice. But I figured, you know, I could give him a little treat. He's going to be happy to see it. So pick that up. Also picked up a bag of french fries. These are the best french fries. These are the extra crispy fast food fries. So, but these are like the um, McDonald's fries. I also picked up a roll of cinnamon rolls for Christmas dinner. Never had those like that, but picked them up. And then I also picked up another thing of crescent rolls. So these are like your standard crescent rolls. What else? Okay, we got a few more things to unpack. So I got two cans of Pringles. These are the barbecue flavor. This is the best flavor. And then we also got a bunch of like these ices, which is like that sparkling water, basically. Um, we always get a bunch of these. I think we got like, I think I picked up like eight of them. I didn't pick up 10 this time. I usually pick up 10. So I ended up getting eight of these. The best flavor for us or to us is the coconut pineapple. I also picked up some jello to do jello shots. I got a box of strawberry and a box of cherry just because I figured like it would still look cute with the pink stuff. And then I picked up a bag of cookie mix because I want to make cookies either for Christmas or for Christmas. And these are the snickerdoodle cookies from Betty Crocker. I also picked up some more of the um, proline um, cream filled wafers. We have some of these already in the cabinet, but we're running low, so pick those up. And then the last bag, um, I usually get my ham from Kroger, or honestly, I have no loyalty to where I get my ham from. So I ended up picking up a ham from the commissary, and this is what it looks like. Um, it says it's already glazed or whatever. Yes, yeah, it's pre-glazed. So pick that up for Christmas dinner. And then I also picked up some fruit juices because y'all know, like we're pretty, I don't want to say we're like super healthy, but we try to be as healthy as possible. So I picked up these Protein Plus Strawberry Bolt House juices. I love these. I'm actually going to go to um, Kroger and see if they have the berry one because that to me is the favorite. But I know Leland will really appreciate these just being able to drink it and get his like 30 grams of protein. So it says adult men need about 56 grams of protein a day and adult women need about... Digging into <laughs> hi, all right. Haul part two. This is the stuff that I couldn't find at the commissary, and I picked it up from Kroger. And then just some other stuff like these drinks right here are some new protein drinks that I haven't seen, and they were only a dollar. They're from the Kroger brand too, so they were pretty affordable. And I got them in the peach, blueberry, and I got strawberry flavor. And these drinks, I think it said it has 12 grams of protein. I only got a few of them because I didn't know if, you know, obviously me or Leland will end up liking them. But I picked it up to be able to try. I thought I got, oh yeah, I did. I got two of each flavor. So I got two blueberry, two of the peach, and then two of the strawberry. And then I also picked up my favorite flavor of that Bolt House brand. I got the mixed berry. And then I also got the blue goodness. Best ones, best flavors. And then I also picked up another of those Protein Plus, but this one is in a banana flavor, almond and honey. And since Leland likes all of the things that's in here, I figured pick that up for him and see if he ends up liking that. Also picked up some more yogurt. I just got three of the mixed berry because we have some yogurt already in the refrigerator, but I just needed to like re-up. Got a pack of butter because I needed to re-up. A lot of this stuff is like re-upping. That's what mid-month groceries are for us. Like re-upping on the things that ran out. Also got a box of Hot Pockets. This is the best flavor of the Hot Pockets. Fight me in the comments. Um, and then I also got a family pack of the Pacific Cod. Cause they didn't have cod in the commissary. I don't know why they did it. That's, it was just weird. Um, also picked up some hot chocolate because the cocoa balls are cute from the, I said the grocery store, but the cocoa balls are real cute from the bakery, but they get pretty pricey. Like they're 12 bucks for four of them. And I'll show you guys what I picked up from the grocery store in a second. But yeah, so I got the Swiss Miss brand of hot cocoa. I got the peppermint line because I like peppermint. And then I got the milk chocolate for Leland because he's not a huge fan of the peppermint. And then I also picked up 
some seasoning because we needed to re-up on our seasoning. So I got two of the same ones. I got two garlic and two onion powders because these, if you don't use these when you're cooking, what you're doing. Also got me another thing of Obey seasoning because this is what I use for my seafood boils and my Cajun fries. Got a bag of candy. This is just for my pink charcuterie board. I don't really eat candy as much as I used to. I'm proud of myself because I have a really bad sweet tooth and I really have stayed away from, I really have stayed away from candy as much as I possibly can. I also picked up two pounds of snow crab because I always get two pounds of snow crab. And then I got these, this bag of party wings. If you guys watch my, I can't remember what fall, fall. I don't remember what vlog it was, what day or whatever, but I ended up making wings for football Sunday because wings on football Sunday makes sense. But I also am considering making these for the game night as just like having party wings, you know? And then I also got another thing of Leland's soy milk because he, he currently has one that's full and then one that's like basically gone. So I picked this one up. So by the time we do our month of groceries, basically I just like to re-up on everything when it starts getting depleted. Got another one of the apple juice. This is like the really cheap like Kroger brand apple juice. And then we also picked up or also got a thing of rice, the white rice. Um, I think, I don't even think we need it, white rice. Oh yeah, well, no, we didn't really need it. We have another bag. We have this bag right now in our pantry. And then we got, you know, the whole grain rice and then this is the other white rice. So because we eat rice so much and Leland eats rice a lot, I just like to always have, basically it is stock so that he's able to make rice really quick if he wants to. And then I also picked up some corn because we only have four ears of corn in the refrigerator. And oops, we only have four ears of corn in the refrigerator right now. So I picked up four more just for Christmas dinner. And then I got two cartons of eggs because me and Leland eats eggs. He eats them more than I do, but I like to boil eggs sometimes in the morning and I'll eat boiled eggs with some seasoning salt sprinkled on top or I'll eat boiled eggs with my seafood boils. So I got two cartons of those. And then lastly, we just picked up, or I just picked up some alcohol. I picked up this bottle of Parker's Estate sodas. And I was like, you know what, let's try it. It just sounded good. I'm not a dark wine drinker, but this is a Cabernet Sauvignon. I don't know, I, I don't know these things, okay? But when I read the description, it says that it has flavors of dark berries and pomegranate with delicate mingling of clove and vanilla that carry through a lingering finish. That's real fancy, but honestly, what caught my eye was the mixed berries. What was it said? Did it say mixed berries? Dark berries and pomegranate because I love dark berries and I love pomegranate. And then it said it goes good with roasted vegetables, pasta, and grilled meats. So I don't know. I just figured this would be nice when we make like grilled chicken. And then I also got a fun drink. And this is just the Sonics Tropical um, Variety Pack and their hard seltzers. And I thought it was funny to pick this up because Leland's first job was at Sonic. So I just thought that was kind of funny to pick that up. All right, but I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, I'm gonna put this away and then I'm gonna show you guys what I got from the bakery. Okay, so now that I put all the groceries away, what I picked up was I picked up some cocoa balls like I already stated. This is what they look like. And like I said, it's a four pack and these were $12. Now they're pretty big. Honestly, they're bigger than the ones that we got last time, but $12? I don't know, so. And then I also picked up Marshall's Pup Cakes. Every time I go in there, I get him some pup cakes. These are only like, I think six or seven dollars for four cupcakes. We give it to him as like a little treat after dinner. <laughs> you hear Marshall sniffing? And then I also got a cupcake. I also got a cupcake because every time I go in there, I get a cupcake. And this one's super cute. It kind of looks like, well, no, it doesn't. I was gonna say it looks like Frosty the Snowman. But it doesn't it's just a snowman and it's so so cute it's wearing a little santa hat can you guys see yeah super cute right that's really really cute so pick this up because i always get a cupcake whenever i go in there
my dreams And I'll be all you need I'm pretty sure I know what this is because I ordered stockings. I ordered a few things. The first thing was a pack of stockings because I've been wanting to get a bunch of like nice ivory or cream stockings, but they're really expensive in the store. So I ended up ordering a pack of them. I'm gonna show you guys what they look like because I haven't even seen what they look like. Oh, these are tiny. This is what they look like. Super small. These are tiny stockings. I thought they were, well, actually they're stretchy. That's cool, they're stretchy. So I'm gonna have Leland put some screws in the walls for me to put these up. So I ordered six of these stockings and it was only like 30 something dollars for six stockings. And these are like nice, thick knit stockings. Like the material is kind of like a sweater. Really, really nice. They're not the biggest things, but super cute. You could reuse them every year, depending upon like your decor style. But for me, I always incorporate some type of like ivory or white. Sorry, it's really bright in here. So it's kind of washing them out. But super cute, so I'm gonna have Leland put some nails in the wall and we're gonna put these up tonight and fill some stockings. But basically, this is what it's gonna look like, like hung up on the wall from the hook and then it's gonna have a little gift tag and you just flip it over and see whose it is. Super cute. And then we also picked up some more plug timers for our porch lights. So right now we've been manually unplugging and um, unplugging and replugging, I guess our porch lights but this is a mechanical timer so it's not your digital timer that links up to your phone like bluetooth style this is just like a old school mechanical one all right let me put am up top so this is am and this would push us into the morning you go based on where the arrows are no but i'm saying oh. like isn't that because this is 12 a.m so this is 11 a.m right like, it don't, it's confusing on that part. Just know if you have it in the seventh. Um, no. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. How many people do it take to figure out mechanical timer? But you see how it's like clicked up? This is what Lilo was talking about. Like, while, when it's clicked up like this, it's off. And when it's down, it's on. So, like, for example, don't mind my nails. I'm going to redo them. But um, you just flick it up like that. And then, yeah, it's on. I know people prefer the digital, the Bluetooth ones. I prefer the Bluetooth ones. But these work no matter like if there's service or not. So that's cool. Okay, so here are the two mechanical plugs that Leland is about to take outside. And then the last thing that we picked up was a game. A game for game night. It's called Hot Takes. We played this at somebody else's house and we liked it. We enjoyed it. It was funny. So we picked this up. And basically it's just a debate game. So it'll be a topic like for example on the back. It says a hot dog is a sandwich and then you have to pick an agree or disagree card and then you have to like argue your side. Like let's say there's um, three people that say agree and two people that say disagree. You got to discuss your side. But if it's like everybody agrees, you don't really discuss it. So yeah, that's basically what it is. Um, it has a judge. It says the judge decides which team made the better argument and awards a point to each player. But the way we played was literally we just made it a discussion. It was super chill. So pick this up for game night. This is our current stocking situation. These are so big and like just uh, so nice. You guys can't really see the texture. Let me turn these lights on. But can you guys see it's like a nice velvet texture. So good. I picked these up last year. Can't remember where I picked them up from. Probably Home Goods or something. But super cute. And then they have these really cute like pom poms on the end. But I just wasn't able to find them again this year. So that's why I went ahead and order these off of Amazon because like I'm able to find a bunch of these. So we're about to put these up. So I'm gonna take these two down just for right now. And then Leland's gonna put a screw here and then put two screws down there for all of the stockings. Every time we link up it's only us that we're thinking we, we get that. Is it wrong? Is it right? The stockings are up, they look super cute. They're really tiny though. Like I didn't realize they were gonna be that small. Um, and they kind of look weird, like the shape of them is weird. But I think like once you put stuff in them, maybe that'll help like fill the shape out. We're upstairs because I wanted to show you guys what I picked up from Bath and Body Works the other day. 
during the footage that I lost. Remember I told you guys I lost like four days worth of footage. One of those days I went to Bath and Body Works and actually went ahead and purchased some items because they were having body care for $4.95. So I picked up a bunch and here's Marshall busting into my room per usual or into the room per usual. Um, so majority of the items I picked up for Leland and only a few of them I picked up for his brother as like stocking stuffers. So the first line is, it's all men's care by the way. So the first one is Noir and this one smells really really good i ended up picking up the body cream i picked up the body spray as well as the soap bar because apparently they have soap now soap bars in bath and body works i don't know how new that is or how old that is but pick this up and i'm gonna go ahead and put it in this gift bag super cute this tissue paper is from target and the gift bag is also from target and it just has a super cute reindeer in like a snow globe but before i do that I'm going to show you guys the other items that I picked up for Leland. So I picked up this line right here. I'm not going to say the lines out loud because Leland can hear me. So this is the first one. I got the, I got these two. And then the next line that I got was this one. And then the last line that I got is this one right here. So picked all these up for Leland. I'm going to save this one as a birthday gift part of his birthday gift because there's one other thing i want to get to go with that but for these two these are going to go in his stocking or these four these are going to go all in his stocking as stocking stuffers and then i also wanted to show you guys because like i said part of the four days of footage we went up to atlanta i have so much to show you guys by the way um and at this point i feel like i should just probably do a collective haul because we plan on going up to atlanta again so i'm just gonna film a, a collective haul in a whole nother video but I wanted to show you guys the coat that we picked up for Leland's dad. We got it from Zara and it's this super cute white puffer coat. And Leland actually decided to get him a puffer coat for Christmas because apparently he likes Leland's puffer coat, the black one. But I saw the this white one and I was like, oh, that's clean. That's clean, literally and figuratively. And it's from the Zara denim wear line it has like this cute little patch on the arm um i just thought this was really really fly honestly like his dad is 60 years old but i feel like if he dressed this right this is fly it has really nice zippers too high quality um and the jacket was only i think like 80 something dollars it was only yeah it was only 89.90 so super cute puffer so i have this gift bag to put it in actually so i'm gonna put it in this really big cute gift bag you want that mama okay So the office apparently has the best lighting right now, alpha slash laundry room. So I've been um, collecting all of the stocking stuffers and putting it in one place. So I'm going to put these slippers in my mom's stocking. Hopefully they can fit because in theory, like in my head, I was like, oh, the stockings are going to be big. They're not that big. So we'll see if I can fit these slippers in her stocking. Also, I got some makeup wipes for... Cynthia as a stock and stuffer. Don't know if these are gonna fit. I might have to unpackage them and put them in there individually. And then you guys know, you guys know we won the monocular uh, telescope. Don't know if this is gonna fit in the stocking. These stockings are just so tiny that I just don't feel like it's gonna fit. And then we have, you know, his brother's mouse. This will definitely fit. This is small enough to fit. Okay, the only people that need. The only people that still need stuff in their stocking is his dad. And then I think everyone has like something in their stocking. And then we'll just add like little things. But this is what they're looking like. They look so funky on camera. But I tell you, in person, they look way better. I'm super happy with how the stockings came out. Even though they are a funky shape, I thought they were going to be bigger as well. Um, I'm still really happy about them. I think they're cute. So as you guys saw, I put a piece in the oven. The piece is done right now. So I'm about to chill out. We're going to watch some. TV and eat some pizza and fries. Marshall is here. 
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Since we've no place to go.